Hello everyone, so Kim here with Native Lady Book Warrior and today I am going to be telling you all what I'm going to be reading in the month of April. So stick around and let's get started. Hi everyone, thank you for clicking that play button or clicking that thumbnail <laughs> or however you guys click the button. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all my April TBR. For the month of April, I, for this entire month, I want to get caught up for book reviews that I have not yet done. So I'm only going to be reading five books for the month of April while I catch up on book reviews that I have not done yet. As you know, when I do book reviews, I usually do a non-spoilery book review and then I also post a discussion video. And I still want to continue that, but as you know, I've been reading, uh, I don't even, <laughs> I think the last book review I posted was quite a ways back and I still have a lot to catch up on. And a lot of those videos just really need to be edited and I just have to make time for them. So therefore, I'm cutting down my reading for April and just really picking reads that are that are associated with book clubs and a new book that has just been recently released in March. Well, actually two books, yeah. So, okay, so the first book I'm going to be reading for the month of April is There There by Tommy Orange. This book <laughs> has been, I mean, it's an incre incredible indigenous read and the author is Tommy Orange. Tommy Orange is a citizen of the Cheyenne and Arapaho nations of Oklahoma. And this is his first novel and I heard that is, it's just incredibly amazing. I know for sure that Etu Brody, whenever they mention like any kind of reads that are very moving to them and then also reads that they recommend to anyone and I know There There Always is on that list. I'm actually going to be reading There There for Well Read Natives book club and this is the book for April. So There There, the book discussion for this book I believe is not going to be happening until like the later on in the April. So if you guys want to join, you can actually just go to uh, at Well Read Native on Instagram and join in for this read. This book actually follows the perspective of 12 indigenous characters. So there's 12 POV points of view. And I also heard that this book really jumps heavily into indigenous identity, spirituality, and also the struggles of indigenous people, especially the urban native population. I have really <laughs> been trying to stay away from posts regarding this book because uh, this book has a lot of hype and it, it usually e very easily makes it into a lot of favorite lists. I know very recently Steph Bookish Stephanie read this book and she said it was pretty awesome and it, I think her quote was that this book destroyed her or <laughs> really messed her up. So I know that this is a pretty heavy read, but I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to having this discussion with the rest of the book group. So I'm kind of excited to read this. These 12 characters are all headed to a powwow in Oakland, California. And that's as far as I want to know. I kind of want to go into this pretty new. I, I've read the back before. I'm kind of fuzzy on it. So I kind of just want to go into this book very new. This is my first read that I'm going to be reading for the month of April. The second read that I'm going to be reading, and this book is actually the March book for Aaron and Danny's book club, and that is The Tower of Raven and an, an Alaska Native Memoir by Ernestine Hayes. So I have read Ernestine Hayes before. I read Blonde Indian, and that book was pretty incredible. So I can't wait to read this. Tower of Raven by Ernestine Hayes. Er Ernestine Hayes is Clinket from Alaska. Okay, the third book that I'm going to be reading for the month of April is Seed Keeper by Diane Wilson. So Diane Wilson is Dakota. I finished Dr. Robin Wall Kimmer's Breeding Sweetgrass. And wow, I that book is just completely amazing. This book I've heard would be a great follow up to Braiding Sweetgrass. And I know that this book follows a character named Rosalie. She basically returns back home to a community. In her process of returning home, I'm guessing that there 
is a lot of reawakening happening there, her touching back into the roots of her indigenous community. But also within the description of this book, it, it talks about this tradition of women and I'm guessing the tradition of passing on knowledge, not only through storytelling, but I'm just really excited to read this book. One of the indigenous bookstagrammers that I mentioned in my book haul video that did review this, and it was one of the posts that I saw right away was Anishinaabekwe Reads, which is Sasha. And they reviewed this book and they said it was pretty amazing. So I can't wait to read it and share my thoughts with y'all. So the fourth book that I'm going to be reading for April is Firekeeper's Daughter. I cannot wait to read this. I know there's so many people out there who have read this already. This book is actually a signed copy. I'm so happy to have it. And I got this copy from Birchbark Books. So Birchbark Books is an indigenous bookstore that is owned by none other than Louise Erdrich, which is pretty awesome, right? And this bookstore is in Minnesota. Yes, I'm very excited to read this and I can't wait. Like I said in my book haul video, I'm going to link the reviews for this book again down below if you all want to check out an indigenous reviewed book review for this book. I know very recently, I'm actually going to um, put the tag up here. Danny recently talked about this book. It wasn't a book review, but she I thought it was a really awesome video and I'll link it up above and down below and you guys should go watch it. It's a pretty short video. It's only like five, six minutes, but I cannot wait to read this book. I'm so excited. So yay. And this book is written by Angeline Bully. Angeline Bully is a citizen of the Sault Ste. Marie tribe of Chippewa natives. So yes, this is pretty awesome. I can't wait to read. And this is a own uh, voices authored book. This next book that I'm going to be sharing with you all is book number five that I'm going to be reading for the month of April. I don't know if I'm going to finish this book in April, but I'm definitely going to try because the live discussion for this book is going to be happening on May 8th. And I'm reading this book for Krusty Club Reads with Chanel time. And I cannot wait. And it is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. So editing Kim here. So I'm just, I totally forgot to mention in the video that I'm actually going to be co-hosting on a live show with Chanel time. Right? Awesome. For the Krusty Club book club, which will be happening on May 8th. So check that out. I'll leave details down below. And yeah, I'm excited. And I, I think the other co-hosts will be RC from Neku the Book Lock and Kay from I Love Books Okay. So back to the video. Also, this book fulfills the prompt for Buzzwordathon. So the Buzzwordathon theme for April is space words. As you can see, sun. <laughs> is on here. So this definitely fulfills that prompt. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm so excited. I know this is a epic high fantasy read. I'm excited to read this because I was looking through this book and there is a map, there's a cast of characters. And I believe this is a book one in this series and I can't I, I don't know I have all kinds of excitement and anticipation when it comes to reading this book and I feel like the next time you see me reviewing it or talking about this book I'm pretty sure you're gonna see all kinds of beautiful colorful tabs on this side of the book so yes I cannot wait to read this book this is my very awesome pile of books that I'm going to be reading for the month of April. And like I said before, I'm I'm just going to take my time with these books because I do have to catch up with my book reviews and I I don't that is something I really don't want to let go. And I know my book reviews aren't my highest viewed videos, but they they are videos that I very much enjoy making, but unfortunately, I have to make time for those types of videos because I go on and on when I talk about books. When I whenever I review a book, I go on and on, and even to edit those videos take <laughs> quite a bit of time because I just try to chop it down as much as I can, and sometimes. 
at the end of the video, my video can be as long as an hour, which is, I know that it's, it's kind of ridiculous, but I really miss reviewing books because that's basically how I start out. I think in the beginning when I was doing booktube, I wasn't even doing wrap ups. I wasn't doing TBRs. All I was doing was just straight book reviews. And I kind of want to get back into doing that again. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I'm going to get to reading these books. If you made it to the end of this video and if you read any of these books, please let me know how you like them, if you enjoyed it. So maybe you can leave a sun for this book for a black sun. You could leave maybe a corn for the seed keeper. You could leave a fire for Firekeeper's Daughter. You could leave a bird emoji for the Tower of Raven. And lastly, um, leave an orange heart for there, there. So I hope you guys are all doing very well. And I shall see you again soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Na na ka wo ta la we we ma wa i ta na ao ha ke na wa